it goes back a while. Like I'm pretty sure it started with my grandma. It might have even been earlier. She owns Avalon Stables. And so my mom grew up riding there. She grew up riding there. And so it's just kind of in the family to grow up riding horses and spending all your time with them. My first horse was Black Beauty. I don't remember much about her because I had her when she, we were like so young. I got into competition when I was younger than nine years old. My first show was with Elliot, who is a horse I show now, which is like so cool because I didn't own him back then. He was just a horse that like I got the opportunity to show. About nine years old, I started out with doing like 4-H. I wasn't winning or anything, but like we would always go to the 4-H shows, the small shows, and we'd go and compete there, and I got to watch my mom and her students do really well because they were like much older than me and much more prepared. And they would go and they'd do really well. So I just grew up watching and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't actually like start competitively showing until I was probably 14, 13, which is when it, like everything kind of clicked in. So the feeling I get while taking care of the horse is definitely kind of like a motherly feeling. Like I'm definitely, it's really cool because like you get to watch your horse and you can, like you feel really accomplished after. <laughs> it sounds so dumb, but like you feel really accomplished after. Like you feed them and you like take care of them. You're like, I did that for you. You are happy now. You are doing well. While you're riding, the feeling you get is much different than that. <laughs> but the times when I'm just going right and it's just all working out, like. I have had rides before where it's like an hour long, but I'll just get five minutes of just like perfection. Not even if the ride is perfect, but just how it feels is just like perfect and it feels just right. And like definitely sort of like meditating kind of feeling that you'd get. Where it's like you don't really, you're not thinking anymore, like you're just kind of going and it's like the peacefulness, like there's times definitely when it's like super stressful and like nothing's quite going right like within you and the horse. There's other times where it's just kind of, it all clicks and you're both like working hard and you're both just like in sync and it's like it's indescribable. Like it's just peaceful harmony. That sounds so cliche, but like that's what it is. For competitions, like it can be really a big letdown. Like if you don't do quite as well. Like if you go in there and you make a mistake and you or your horse makes a mistake, it's let down like that's not the best feeling but when you like go in there I'm just thinking right now to like a moment I can remember where we were going down um, for pleasure you're just like you're riding the rail and so I was going down the rail and like I was just like in sync with Elliot and we were I can remember hearing like my own heartbeat and like it was like so hard I can remember like all these thoughts were in there but I was just kind of like this is nice this this feels right and then we tripped and that wasn't quite as fun but <laughs> Before every competition, I always pray. That, like the night before, I always pray. And then right before I enter the ring, I'm just like always just like thinking, like, God, please help me. Just let this go right. It definitely gives you kind of the same feeling, like after you pray and like you just kind of like let everything out, and like not distracting, but kind of just like it takes it off your mind. Like there's been times before where like there's like I feel sick to my stomach over something that has happened, and like I've been trying to like work it out. I can't find anything to like get my mind off of that. And so I'd go out and ride and like it just you start thinking about the horse instead of what you had done. Just letting it kinda of like work itself out instead of like complaining to God that like this is happening and you don't know why it's happening. You just kinda of like take a chill pill and you just kinda of hop on your horse and you just kinda of go and you just start thinking about other stuff. Pretty sure I just said kinda like six times. <laughs> Two years ago, we were all at state and we all not similar patterns, but we all had good patterns like Enough to win the win the class, and so I was standing there. And I just come, I was like, kept praying, just like God, please, 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 please. And the judge like as much as I did, and I won. And like I just when I went to bed that night, I was like, thank God and all that kind of stuff. And this year we did trail. It was rough, but everyone it was an extremely hard pattern. Everyone in the class made a mistake, and so I was really hoping they'd overlook that mistake that I had made and they would give it to me. Surprise, they didn't. <laughs> They give it to a different girl. I remember I just immediately like felt like really hurt and I was crying because like I had a goal and I didn't complete that goal. Or so I can remember I came home and I was kind of like, well, thank you for giving it to me this show and but this should be the one that was kind of rough and not quite as well because like there's other shows where like the world show when I won that I was definitely like God was <laughs> he was there that was so phenomenal and then this one did not do as well I was like I'll I'll take it.